all the other preachers who are here with you, to officers, members, and friends of New Life Baptist Church, to my officers, deacons, ministers, all of you, my brothers and sisters in my father's house. We do give us. We give honor to even our enemies, should there be any. Mm -hmm. We give you honor as well. We thank you, Pastor Harris and New Life, for the invitation on today, because you could have chosen anybody you wanted to. I'm certain that there are other more prolific prognosticators than I. <laughs> but I am grateful for the opportunity and invitation to be here and celebrate with you on this Friends and Family Day. Amen. I dare not forget my my rib and my, Amen. my girlfriend and my wife. Amen. 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 You see, if you don't, if you don't keep treating her like a girlfriend, then, 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 <laughs> shame on you, but I'm gonna treat mine like she my, she my girlfriend Amen. and wife. Amen. Amen. You count it an honor to be here on today. There is a word from the Lord. Amen. 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 And if you don't mind, turn with me to First Samuel. All right now. It's all in my head now. First Samuel chapter twenty-three. begin reading at verse 14. Amen. Once you found it, if it is your custom, yeah. and if you are able, please rest on your feet for the reading of God's word. And the word of the Lord reads, starting at verse number 14, chapter 23 of the first book of Samuel. Chapter 14, verse 14 says, And David abode in the wilderness, in the strongholds, and remained in a mountain in the wilderness of Zip. Mm. And Saul sought him every day, every day, but God delivered him not into his hand. Uh -huh. And David saw that Saul was come out to seek his life, and David was in the wilderness, and Ziph in a wood. Mm. And Jonathan, Saul's son, arose. Well, and went to David in the wood yeah, yeah. and strengthened his hand in God. Mm. And he said unto him, Fear not, Fear. for the hand of my of Saul, my father, yeah. shall not find thee. That's right. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt be king forever. King. king I'm sorry, king over Israel. Yes. Yeah. And I shall be next unto thee. Mm. And that also Saul, my father, knoweth. Jesus. And we'll read 18 as well. And the two made a covenant before yeah. the Lord. Yes, yeah. Lord. And David abode in the wood, in the wood. and Jonathan went to his house. You mm -hmm. may be seated mm -hmm. in the presence of the Lord. Amen. For the time allotted, I would do my best not to be in your presence long, because I know we ate. <laughs> I'm not crazy enough to think that I can be long. <laughs> if, I could, if, I, if I'm long, I'm going to be wrong, because y'all can be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the time allotted. Let me deal with the subject, the characteristics of a true friend. Amen. The characteristics Amen. of a true friend. Yeah. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father. For this opportunity to stand behind this, your sacred desk. Right Recognizing God, I can do nothing without you. I can't do anything until the preacher calls. Yeah, Lord. So have thine own way. Yes, Lord. Anoint me afresh, Master. Yes, Take right. me down into your well of knowledge. Bring me up and let this be these words flow like rivers of living water yeah, that someone might hear knowing that you are still in control and that you're able to do anything that you want to do. God, as I decrease, I ask that you increase in me all the more. Use me to your glory and to your honor. And I will be so ever careful to give your name the praise, honor, and glory. Let the words of my mouth yeah, Lord. and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. 
And it's in Jesus' name and for his sake we say, amen. 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 Who's your friend? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of us are here today because of a friend who invited you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I hope today you come away with a commitment to be an even better friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, if there's one thing that most of us truly desire, mm -hmm. that is to have uh, at least one good, yeah. close friend. Mm -hmm. I would venture to say that most of us would give half of what we own to have that one good, mm -hmm. true, mm -hmm. close friend. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us would give maybe all that we've got for that good, true friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, I, some of y'all might, 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 might remember this, but Houdini had a song that said, Friends. How <laughs> <laughs> many y'all know that song? <laughs> Ones we can depend on. But I've come to understand that many of us truly don't know the meaning of the word friend. Many of us don't have requirements when it comes to selecting our own friend. Many times we use the word friend loosely just because we associate ourselves with someone yeah. just because we know someone or just because they call themselves our friend yeah. doesn't necessarily mean that they are friendly yeah. see, see the bible declares in proverbs 18 24 a man that has friends mm -hmm. must first mm -hmm. show himself mm -hmm. friendly mm -hmm. and there is a friend uh, that stick it closer yeah. than any brother. Yeah. Yeah. Therefore, therefore, if you are a friend or have a friend, yeah. that friend must show himself to be a friend. Yeah. Yeah. Then what, what, what is a true friend? See, see, many of us have tried to determine what a true friend is by our own methodologies and understanding. Mm -hmm. Can I go back and quote Houdini again? <laughs> it says, now you can look the word up again and again, but the dictionary doesn't know the meaning of friends. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We've tried to make friends, to have friends, to accept friends yeah. uh -huh. based on what a person says. Right. Yeah. I need to tell somebody this afternoon, this evening, that just calling yourself a friend doesn't make you a friend. Yeah. There are some standards that must be set, mm -hmm. that must be realized if you're going to be a true friend. Yeah, yeah. There is a model, an outline, if you will, one that is set forth in this particular text that we can use to determine whether we have a true friend or not. Yeah, yeah. Can, can I take a moment right now to break this thing down Amen. so we can truly figure out whether we have a genuine friend Amen. or not? Amen. Okay, let, 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 me, let, me, let me break this picture down for a few minutes. There's a story about Saul, yeah. David, and Jonathan. Yeah. Yeah. Saul is king, king over Israel. Yeah. You do know he was not a good king, right. but his son formed a relationship mm -hmm. and became friends with David years even before yeah. he was anointed to be king. Mm -hmm. Now, God has anointed David to be king. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And Jonathan has not forgotten about his friend. Mm -hmm. Come on now. He knows what a true friend is. Mm -hmm. can, I, can, I, can I give you number one? Number one, mm -hmm. see, a true friend will show up and get into yeah. your situation yes, uh, with you. Amen. A true friend. A, a true friend. Look, it's right there in verse 16. Look yeah, at it again. Right. It says, and Jonathan, Saul's son, mm -hmm. he rose and went to David mm -hmm. in the wood. Mm -hmm. Right there. Don't miss that thing. Jo Jonathan left the comfort of his own situation yeah. to go be with his friend mm -hmm. in the woods. He left where he was comfortable mm -hmm. and went to a situation that was uncomfortable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jonathan leaves the comfort of the palace, Real. the king's house. Yeah. Some of us won't leave grandma's house yeah. to go 
to somebody else. Amen. But, but he left the king's house to go be with his friend yeah. in the wood. Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, see, he's your true friend will not stand back in the background and watch a friend, watch his friend or her friend go through something, go through some trying times and sit back and say, child, I'm praying for you. Now, 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 now wait a minute. See, see, I'm in the woods. Yeah. You're comfortable standing back there saying, I'm praying for you. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I need you to do just a little bit more yeah. Yeah. than pray for me. Yeah. Now, baby, I need you to come and show up in my situation. Yeah. Come see about me. I need you to do a little more than praying. I, I need you to come in here in the woods with me. If you're a true friend, you will show up in the wilderness and be and experience this pain with me. Remember, the Hebrew boys were in the fire. They, they fire hot, and 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 all of a sudden, they, they the king says, "Wait a minute, didn't we throw three fellas in there?" Amen. But if I look, I see a fourth, and yeah. it looks like. The Son of God. Yeah, that's right. See, that's how Jesus worked there. Yeah, 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 he don't stand back. He get in the fire yeah, yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard a story about a pastor, and, and, and he had this deacon. And the deacon told him one time, he said, Now, nah, I, I realize that the deacon meant well, but, but he made a bad statement. He said, Pastor, I'm with you. As long, as long as you're right. <laughs> I'm with you yeah, all yeah. the way. Yeah. As long as, long, yeah. as you're right. <laughs> now, the pastor took a minute, took a few seconds, composed himself, and he said to the deacon, he said, Brother Deacon, look, I'm, I don't mean no harm, but quite frankly, I don't need you when I'm right. Yeah, that's right. I mean, when I'm right, I'm good all by myself. Yeah, right. And I wonder, can you stand with me yeah, yeah, yeah. when stuff gets a little stink? Yeah. I, I want to know, can you, when, when the stuff gets safe, can you, can you ride with me then? I want to know, can you stand with me when it gets a little rocky and things start shaking? I need to know, can you stand with me? Can, I don't need you to condone what I'm doing, but don't condemn me either. I just want to know, can you show up in the truck? Because, see, brother, you got a rule. That even Jesus doesn't have. Because yeah. the Bible says, yeah. while we were yet sinners, yeah. see, Christ died for us. Yeah. Jesus doesn't walk away from us yeah. when we're going through difficult times. Yeah. Jesus gets in the mess yeah. with us. Yeah. That's when he shows up. Yeah. A true friend will show up in your situation. Yeah. I, I remember yeah. years yeah. ago, I was getting ready to get into a fight, and I was in the fight. And I was losing bad. There were two folks that were whipping me pretty good. And, 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 and a friend of mine came along and he saw what was going on. And he thought to himself, he said, look here, that's my friend. He got in the fight with me. Now, while there were two of us and there were two of them, guess what? Now, the odds even. Well, we can handle some things. That's what happens when your friend gets in it with you. No, no, no. If you have a friend that when you're going through something, they expect you to drop everything that you're doing just to show up for them. But when you're going through, they can't be fine. When you need someone, you can't call on them. If by chance you have someone in your life like that, I'm not suggesting that you drop them. I'm not saying that you should unfriend them. I'm just saying you might want to put an asterisk by their name. Don't unfriend them just yet. Just put that asterisk right there. Because a true friend yeah. will show up yeah. in your situation. Point number two. I, I, I'm, I'm getting ready to get on out of the way. When, when, when a true friend shows up, they give you words of encouragement. Oh, yeah. they, they, they give you some encouraging words that help you endure 
your situation. Yeah. It's right there in verse 16, right. part B. It says, Jonathan arose and went to David in the woods. And here it is. It says, and strengthened his hand yeah. in God. Yeah. The New Living Translation says, and encouraged him to stay strong yeah. in his faith yeah. in God. Amen. Yeah. His rock. Some folk, they will show up. Well. But when they show up, they bring the wrong disposition. Yeah. Maybe you know what I'm, maybe some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Maybe, maybe you you had that so-called friend that, that 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 when stuff happens and they show up, but when they do, you feel worse after they try to talk to you than when than before they got there. Yeah. Yeah. Makes you makes you want to ask, man, why did you even come here? Why, why don't you get somewhere and sit down with that yeah. noise? Go home. Matter of fact, you ain't got to go home. But just get out of here with that noise. Yeah. I mean, really, because it, what you're doing right now, I, 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 I realize that you did show up, but what you're saying right now is not really helping me. You're doing more damage than you're doing good. Some folk, when they show up, we'd rather them not even have come. And we'd rather them just stay on the way. Because when they show up, they do more complaining than you did. Yeah. They putting more heartache on you, anguish, sorrow, and, and on you now and, than you had before they got there. See, see, you got to be careful because some folk act like Job's friends. Yeah. Remember Job's friends? Yeah. They did show up. Yeah. They, they had the mind to get there. But when they showed up, all they could do was try to find fault in Job. What did you do wrong, Job? You know you had to do something. I don't know. Where, where did you sin? Where did it go wrong? I don't need you to do a situational Amen. analysis Amen. of my life if you call so-called my friend. Amen. I don't need you to tell me what's wrong with my life. Amen. How bad it is. <laughs> I'm in this mess. I'm yeah, not yeah. the one in it. You ain't got to tell me. I know what I do need for you to do. Yeah. I need you to show up. And when you do, encourage me yeah. to endure the situation. Yeah. Don't bring me no mess. I'm yeah. sick and tired of folk and always trying to be the spiritual Dr. Phil. Well. <laughs> you want to show up and analyze everybody else's life. <laughs> You want to tell everybody else what's wrong in their life while your mess, your, your life is a hot mess. My, my mama-in-law, she got this thing. She said, you looking like homemade sin. Get, get I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't make that up. She stuck what she said. I, I just, I, I want to do, can, can you do me a huge favor? Get somewhere and sit down if you're not going to help me. Sit down with that noise. As the young people always say, miss me with that mess. Because as a matter of fact, just hush. Go on, close your mouth. Do, don't, don't say another word. Come if you're on, not here to encourage me, then don't evaluate me either. Yeah. Just show up and speak some encouraging words. Now, now, if by chance you have a friend in your life that when they do show up, that you get little to no encouragement, I'm not recommending that you drop them just yet. Don't unfriend them just yet. But I would highly advise you to put just a little asterisk right there by their name. Because that, my brother, my friend, that friend, my brother and sister, they're just a little bit suspect. Okay, okay. All right. So, somebody says a long list, Lord. Might want to check your friend. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm going to get my last point and I'm going to get out your way. It's in verse 17. This, this, it, it's the shouting part. It's the pinnacle. Yeah, it's the, it's the peak. It's found in chapter 23. And he said unto him, that's Jonathan speaking. He said, fear not, yeah. for the hand of Saul, my father, shall not bind thee, and thou shalt be king over Israel. He says, and I shall be next unto thee. I know I, I, I know some of y'all probably missed that because we should be shouting right there. See, what's that? <laughs> I love what Jonathan says. Mm -hmm. He says, even my crazy daddy, yeah. even he knows it. He knows. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. 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 Let me come back and get some of y'all. Some of y'all looking at me like, I don't Lord understand God. what he's saying. Let me come back and pick you up. Jonathan shows up to David in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And he says, I know you're in the wilderness, yeah. but get yourself together. Yeah. You're not going to stay here. Always. Yeah, that's right. He, he says, pull yourself together, Dave, yeah. and fear not. He says, maintain 
your spiritual swagger. Yes. 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 Fear not, mm -hmm. because you shall mm -hmm. be king yeah. over Israel. Yeah. And Jonathan says, I ain't even upset about it. Right. He says, all I want to do is be next to you. Right. Yes. Here it is right here. Because see, a true friend, That's right. they will not only show up in your situation, a true friend will not only encourage you in your situation, but a true friend is not envious of your elevation. Jonathan has every right to be upset That's right. according That's to right. the monarchical protocol That's right. and based on how the kingdom is supposed to operate. Yeah. By the principle of natural succession, Jonathan was supposed to be the next king. Saul is Jonathan's daddy, but Jonathan says, I realize what God, what God has God done. Is. He has yeah. skipped me yeah. and already anointed you to become the next king. Jonathan says, and I ain't mad about it. All I, all I want is to be next to you. As long as I can get a seat next to you. Let me, put, let me take a break right there. And Paul, put my kickstand down. See, you see the Lord. I need you. Wait, 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 let, 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 me, let me fix that up. Lord, no, Lord, Lord, look. I need you to deliver me from folk that can't handle my elevation. Yeah. Yeah. They can't yeah. handle the blessing yeah. that you've given me. Yeah, that's right. When God starts elevating yeah. and blessing you, yeah. that's when you'll find out who your Ooh, real yeah. friends are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When God starts taking you to a whole nother level, watch out, because that's when friends start to get crazy. They start to lose their mind. And you find out who your real friends are. Some folk in your life can't handle where the Lord is about to take you. They can't see what you see. They don't know what you know. So they can't go where you're going. Now, now, if by chance you have a friend in your life and every time you get a promotion on your job, every time you every get time. a new car, when yeah. you, you, you get some work done on your house, you yeah, get yeah. a pair of new shoes, you get a new suit, <laughs> yeah, a new purse, yeah, and they start yeah. getting bent out of shape, yeah. I highly recommend, yeah. I strongly yeah, yeah, yeah. encourage you yeah, yeah, yeah. that you go ahead and drop them right now. <laughs> Just drop them, unfriend them. If, if folks can't handle what God, what God is doing in your life, honey, get rid of them because they ain't got no business being there. You won't show up, and when you do, you don't make me feel any better. As a matter of fact, when you show up, I feel worse. And every time God starts blessing me, you want to get bit out of shape and start showing up. I ain't got time for that. In the words of the great Martin Payne, you need to get to stepping. <laughs> Okay, okay, let me, let, me, let me clean it up just a little bit. People might call you conceited yeah. or arrogant, yeah. but I'm not conceited nor am I arrogant. I've just come to the realization yeah. that everybody can't be up front and in my life. Yeah. That means you have some, sometimes you have to know how to be an usher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think everybody needs to know how to be an usher yeah. every now and then. Yeah. You need to learn how to put that little white glove on, yeah. put it around your back of your back, and escort some folk right up on out of your life. There we go. Get, get this step. And while you're doing it, kindly tell them. You, you, you got to sometimes when, when, when you're doing it, point them to the door and, kind, and be kind to them and say, uh, you, you're going to have to watch from a distance. You're going to have to watch me from a distance because you can't hang out with me no more. Because while you upset over what God is doing right now, you just wait and see what God is about to do with me next. If you're upset now, just wait until he takes me to the next level. If you're upset now, just wait till he blesses me the next time. I got news for you. Need friends that if I'm in trouble, if I'm in a bad situation, and that friend can't show up, that friend can't speak encouraging word. I don't need a friend like that if God is blessing me that they gonna get upset. That's why I'm so glad I feel like preaching now. I, I have a friend that sticks closer than any brother. I have a friend that while we were yet sinners, he died for us. I have a friend that left the comfort of heaven and came over 40 and two generations. I wish I had some help. I've got a friend.
pray that I can call on in times of trouble. Yeah. I've got a mediator yeah. that I can call when anything is going wrong. Yeah. I've got somebody that I can call in the midnight hour. I've got somebody that I can call when nobody else will answer. I know he will answer. I can call on Brother Jesus. Y'all do know who Jesus is, don't you? Jesus, the Lamb of God. Jesus, the Son of Man with power. Jesus, Abraham, ram in the bush. Jesus, Noah's heart. Jesus, Moses, bush on fire. Jesus, Gideon's fleece. Jesus, Samson's power. Y'all do know him, don't you? Some of y'all looking at me like you don't even know who I'm talking about. Jesus, he is David's music. He is Solomon's wisdom. Jeremiah's bone in Gilead. He is Ezekiel's will in the middle of the will. He is Matthew's king. He is Mark's suffering servant. He is Luke's great physician. He is John's word made test. Y'all do know it, don't you? He is Acts coming of the Holy Ghost. He is the limit of the valley. He is the bright and morning star. Jesus Grumpy is walking cane. Old folks used to say he's a battle axe. Jesus, y'all do know him, don't you? He's a friend to the friendless. He's a mother to the motherless. Jesus, he is a shelter in the time of storm. I wish I had some help in the room. Jesus, he's bread when you're hungry. Jesus, he's a bridge over troubled water. Jesus, he's is there anybody in this place that don't mind praising the Lord? Get up from your mess. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless yes, you. God. And heaven's Glory, God. Glory, God. 